Alright guys, we are back, and let me explain Again. you real quick. We actually just fucking recorded 18 minutes of what is supposed to be this part of the episode. However, our computer decided to fucking crash. So, we have the fucking file, but it's corrupt. And yeah. I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna go and do some Google shit to try and repair it and see if we got some fucking haunting shit going on. Because that was horrifying. Yeah. Basically, this was supposed to be a um, quick episode <sighs> of us doing some two things of Lawrence that I'm now deciding to just keep a secret until we do it. And it's either going to be its own episode, depending on how short or long it is, hopefully short, or we'll put it in front of the final red episode, which mm -hmm. will be the final episode of the series. So, without further ado, let's get this shit done with. We're basically just going to, um, this probably would have been a more fun playthrough, but because the computer crashed, you can blame that. Yeah. I love Re uh, Lawrence, though, so I just want to get the shit done with. So we're gonna oh, be... man, we lost all the zaddy commentary and everything. Yeah, we did. We talked about a lot of funny shit. Guys, you're missing out. You're yeah. missing out. Only me and Nora knows what happened. We killed a guy on camera. We did kill a guy on camera. And that's why it's corrupt now. So basically, um... Yeah. Actually, the last 18 minutes we recorded did have our faces, but now you don't get to see yeah, them. Yeah, now because... you don't get to see us. Now you fucked up, guys. This is your fault. Yeah. Go, um... Message. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, like, disappointed. <sighs> We're not... In love with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. We just need to... <coughs> okay, so basically, um... What's we're just gonna fucking... camera. Yeah, to do this shit, guys, um, we're gonna get two survival endings for Lawrence. And, um, because I like surviving with Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to be named Cypress for one of them. You don't need it for the other. Well, it doesn't have to be... You don't have to be named Cypress. You just have to be named... Oh, uh, yeah, you have to have a flower name. I'm sure, I'm sure they remember. I them. choose Cypress because it's one of the very few male flower names. So we're gonna just relax. How in depth is that list, by the way? Like, can you use anything? It's a lot. There's like okay, thirty cool. at least. There's like thirty at least. I'm pretty sure it's literally like any flower name. I'm sure there's a few they missed, but most of them work. Um. So basically, are you all right? Yeah, we're just gonna go through this shit real quick. Yeah. It's gonna be quick. Sorry, y'all. I really do apologize. This is um probably Brandon's fault. Yeah, this is Brandon's fault. If you don't know who Brandon is, lucky. If you uh, don't know who Brandon is, then honestly, how do you even know this channel for one? Because he's one of three people that made it. And two, good taste. Yeah. <laughs> two, I'm jealous. Let's see. Yeah. Is everything okay, Lawrence? Yeah, he's beautiful. Also, he compliments our beautiful flower name. He does. Y'all don't get to see that either because of the stupid PC. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get our own drink because we're fucking stupid and we accept drinks from strangers. Mm -hmm. But it's not roofy, so honestly, who gets a shit free drink? True. Which is probably nice because, uh, oh wait, no, we're not gonna die, so who cares anyways. We're not dying this time, guys. Let me see. So, um, better luck next time. And then we say, I'm sorry. And then we let the timer run out. Daddy gets to hit us. <laughs> I love it when daddy hits me. Daddy gets the Oh, wait, hit. zaddy. You gotta say zaddy at least once to make up for our sins. Oh, We're gonna yeah. Run straight ahead. Uh, first straight thing I've ever done in my life. I said that last time. <laughs> We're just gonna do a We're sloppy, just gonna relive our jokes. sloppy rendition. We're gonna retrace our steps. Yeah, this is a parody of us by <laughs> us. In 10 minutes or less. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, basically. We're cutting all the bullshit. We're cutting straight to the point, bitch. Straight to the point. We're gonna We're cut ourselves like bitch. we did in Hot Topic. So, stay silent. Which is what I do when daddy's in the room. Mm -hmm. Let him explain, because daddy's beautiful. I don't have to be a problem. I can see you like plants. Uh, I like the garden too. Oh my god. Oh my god, relatable. That's why I like it too. Relatable goals is fuck mom. <laughs> Ugh, he shouldn't like us. Honestly. Well, he definitely shouldn't like you because you don't even like him. Yeah, Stupid I don't. Stupid bitch, he's mine. Does he pull his hair down in either one of these? Uh, he, um, not in the thing right here, mm -hmm. but uh, he does in one of the CGs, and mm. it's the one where we kill okay. him. <laughs> so you're probably going to like him for one second. You just told him we weren't going to tell him what we was doing, and then you just told him. Yeah, it doesn't matter, though, because I told him now. Right. They'll probably know. It doesn't matter. Who gives a shit, guys? I'm tired. I'm probably going to put it in the description anyway. It's my birthday, guys. I'm trying to get this shit done with, but I love Lauren so much that I want to do this in the first place, so we're Sun confusing. Is Rising outside. Your mom's gonna be awake soon. Oh my god. I have a mom. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to read this uh, walkthrough. I'm sure that's how fucking lame that sounded. 
Uh, yeah, it does sound fucking Can we lame. cut that out? Y'all, I have a, um, I'm a working American citizen. I work hard. I make lots of money. I'm very successful. I'm happy. And uh, my life is great. Nora's not so much, but we're not talking about her. Yeah, let's not. So I'm not fucking lame, but I do live with my mom. But I'm turning, bitch, today's my birthday. I'm turning 20. Okay, what do you expect from me? Not everyone who's Fuck 20 off. has moved out yet. Okay, bitch. Fuck cock, man, slot. Cock, man, slot. Who gives a shit? I work for minimum we wage, damn it. We haven't revisited <laughs> that accent in a while. Hulk made me thought. Fuck, cock, man, thought. This is a great way to end the series. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Just having an absolute seizure for 5 minutes and 38 seconds. That's what happened. We've been having so many seizures on camera that the fucking computer had one itself. <laughs> it literally the, could the not computer, handle. The computer could not handle how fucking retarded we are. <laughs> we just like how fucking we've hilarious. We've been spouted bullshit for weeks and weeks and weeks to the point where the computer just had a fucking seizure. Yeah. So basically, Sorry, Dale. let's get this shit done before the computer does it again. So, um, we don't mind. It's okay. We're firmly refusing, though. We're going to struggle. Struggle. Joe. Struggle. Joe. Rest. Rest. Alright, um, please let me use the bathroom. Please. Please, Zaddy. We're please, Zaddy. Sam in the room. Zam, Zaddy. Zam, Zaddy. Drink from the bottom labeled numb, because it give us health and happy give us feeling. Health. It give us happy feeling. We're gonna freshen up because that's what ladies do, am I right, mm -hmm. ladies? And we're gonna leave. And we're going back into the spider's web. And we're going to struggle. At first I felt nothing strange, but something budged. I pulled carefully. This is a new dialogue, by the way. It was the arms of the chair. They're loose. I kept pulling. The one on the left creaked and I froze. Or struggle again. I can do this. I just need to be really careful. I move my left arm, twisting upward. I could feel the arm of the chair getting looser. Kind of like my vagina. <laughs> Creak. I don't have a vagina, by the way, guys. Just so you know. Shit. I gulped. The blood was pulsing in my ears. Struggle again. I was shaking. I have to. I gently pull on the left arm one more time. I heard a quiet pop. My arm was free. I quickly used it to begin freeing my other arm. Taking my time, I was able to pull up the other arm of the chair. Two free arms. It was easy for, uh, to lean forward and grab the small knife he'd left on the table in front of me. I slowly and quietly cut the tape from the limbs. Now, we've skipped a lot of dialogue, but mm -hmm. just to refresh you guys, it is the second day, I'm pretty sure. He's asleep right now, and we just got out of the bathroom, and he tied our limbs gently, because mm -hmm. we've been kind of nice to him. So that is how we were able to get through. And that is the situation we're in now. So he's, um, he better hope that we're nice. Mm-hmm. I slowly and quietly cut the tape from my limbs. Time to stand. I got up slowly. It was, I was dizzy and sore, but I was finally free to move around. And my captor is still asleep. So, we've got three options. Oh, shit. We can find a better weapon. We can leave the apartment, mm -hmm. which leads to our death. Oh, because we're fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Never let this protagonist do something that most people would not struggle with. Because mm -hmm. they're illiterate. Or we can get in bed with him because we're low on sanity. First, however, we're going to get one of the survival endings. Okay. And that is, unfortunately for him, killing him. I glanced over the tables in the room. There's plenty of dangerous things here. My gaze settled on this large pair of <coughs> On this large pair of garden shears, I couldn't say because Nora was coughing. Sorry. Everything has to be about her. I have she to She gets one and I don't. Ka-chow. ka, -chow. ka -chow. She'll block, she'll blam. I grin, crept well, over bada my bing, face. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Okay, uh, it's nine minutes, so we need to be quick. How fitting. It'll be easy. There he is. Oh, he looked like a sleeping babe. He is sleeping. Hold on, babe. don't kill him yet. Look how cute him is. Soft like mashed potato. Here, don't fall in love just yet, cause we'll see this. Uh, we'll see this again. Him sweet. Him sweet. Like okay, potato. kill him. Mark his ass. I crept closer to him. My heart was hammering in my chest. Straight, mark his ass. We're killing him. If we back out, we die. So, eh. I approached him silently and slowly. My hands and breath became steady. I listened hard to hear his soft breathing. I smiled. No more hesitation. I grasped his shoulder, pulling him down flat. In the same perfect motion, I slammed the blades down into his stomach with all the force I could muster. 
I heard oh. the soft sound of the blade slicing uh, into his flesh and organs. I was surprised at how easily the shears went into him. He looked like he was trying to make a sound. Shh! I twisted the blade silently, or slightly, earning a pained gasp. Remember, you said we had to be quiet. And for continuity, guys, yes, he did say that earlier. Oh, and he has tattoos, by the way. You've never seen him shirtless. Yeah, I was wondering if those tattoos or armbands. Yeah, those are tattoos. Okay. I watched his blood seep from the wound. He was shaking. I leaned, him, uh, leaned down close. I wanted to watch this. He moved his mouth again, trying in vain to say something, but he only managed a cracked sob. I locked eyes with him, and I wrenched the shears deeper. I painted over his body. That felt pretty good. I don't think it did. <laughs> but we survived. It's a survival ending of Florence. I don't like having to keep killing him. I love him so much. Why yeah. do I keep killing him? Anyways, that's fine, because we're not going to kill him this time. Because we're going to get in bed with him. Oh, no. Aww. I knew I should probably leave or something, but I looked at him in bed. He really doesn't look scary like that. The bed is small, but it looks comfortable. I rubbed my aching arms. Something was telling me this was a bad idea. But where have all my good ideas got me anyway? True. Fucking dead. That's where. So honestly, true. I gently pulled up the blanket and crawled in next to him. And honestly, if we don't want to kill him, the only other option is dying. So, mm -hmm. as I nestled in next to him and his warmth, he began to move. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that sentence. Oh, what? That's fucking anime. I don't like it. Him is cute. Nipple. Okay, now I'm into it. Now that I know he has tattoos and long, like, flowing hair. He does have long flowy hair. I love it. He jumped uh, back from me a little. I can't read, guys. It's just me. He looked at me in disbelief. He shook. You're... I like how he likes that. Mm -hmm. Dot, dot, dot. He started turning red. What are you doing? <laughs> um, Ooh. I can say, can I sleep here? Or can I touch you? If you sleep here, y'all, you don't get to fuck. You guys get to cuddle, and it's you super live? cute, and you do live. Mm. Both of these are survival. Okay. However, um, I'm a hoe, and it's my 20th birthday, mm -hmm. so I'm going to treat myself. Can I touch you? He stared hard at me. He looked like he was just cyber, uh, trying to decipher some foreign language. I pressed my body against his to demonstrate. If you've never made a man make this face... Then what are you doing with your you life? What are you doing? Pathetic. Loser. I gasped in, uh, in surprise at finding him already hard. Oh. So oh. I'm going to read some erotic fan fiction, guys. Oh. He grabbed my arms and shifted on top of me so quickly that I was disoriented for a moment. Guys, I can't fucking read. He was breathing hard, pinning me tightly under him. I love it when Daddy does that. I didn't know what to say. I'm not going to let you go. I'm just going to take over and read for Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> what? You're going to die here. Oh, I love it when Daddy says that. <laughs> I know the words should have bothered me more, but something about his tone sounded like he was trying to convince himself rather than me. So it doesn't matter what we do now, right? He seemed surprised. That must have been it. He narrowed his eyes, making up his mind. I gasped hard again. Oh, whatever. He, I gasped again as he grabbed my clothing. He quickly pulled away just enough to expose me. And my bussy. <laughs> I had to say that too. <laughs> Allow an involuntary yelp as he slid his fingers over my entrance and pushed two in sharply. Into my bussy, no! Oh my god, not the bussy. That probably hurts yeah. for a guy, so I don't know. His eyes snapped to me at the sound. In the gray light, they looked so cold. I got the sensation that it was a warning. He thrust his fingers roughly again and I bit my lip this time. He seemed satisfied at my efforts to be quieter. I couldn't help but squirm as he prodded me, but he didn't seem bothered by that. He put his hand over my mouth. I looked at him in confusion. I was already being. I cried out in his hand as he pushed his... Oh, I don't want to say that word. As he pushed his... Cock. Cock! Into me with no warning. <laughs> he removed his hand, and I let out a soft, pained moan. You're warm. He's used to cold. Mm -hmm. He began to move in time. Which, by the way... By the way, bitch... <laughs> Please tell me you're not into that. No. Okay. Uh, by the way, bitch, you can get, like, mites inside your body if you sleep with someone who sleeps with a dead body. Well, listen, like, it's he's a, it's already half dead. He's already half dead. Which is probably why he fucks dead people. Probably. But anyway, yeah, this is not good for you or your bussy or your vagina. Right. Well, I was debating <laughs> it, but Norris just talked me out of fucking the dead body. So yeah, don't I'm do that. So I'm not going to do it. He began to move in time with his panting. 
and as he moved, I began to pant myself. I spread my legs more and more uh, and moved my hips against him. He held me down, and we both started to moan more loudly. He seemed too entranced by it all to worry about the sound now. I knew I shouldn't be feeling like this, but I just let go of those thoughts. With only the feeling left behind, I soon cried out and tensed around him. I clung to him as he came deep inside me. Oh. Now I'm going to get pregnant with his zombie baby. How do you get <laughs> pregnant? Pregnant. Am I pregnant? How do How we do summon tell if with one a is Luigi pregnant? Board? For a while, we just lay there absorbing what just happened. Aw, he loves us. I've never done that with someone who's still... Uh, we're just going to gloss over that. I like him questioningly as he cut off his own sentence. Someone, anyone. <laughs> I, I waited for him to continue, but he abruptly turned from me. He seemed frustrated with himself. I waited a few moments, then put an arm around him. I held him closer and felt his breathing relax. Aww. I didn't know when I fell asleep, but I slept well for the first time since meeting him. I woke up with a start. Huh? Deja vu. I looked down. Why was I in the chair again? When did he move me? Did last night even happen? My head felt so fuzzy. I... I don't know what to do. There's something about you. Something I can't... Was he shaking? Everyone I've met. I wish they'd just die faster. But you... Have you ever heard of soulmates? Aww. I wasn't sure if he wanted to reply. He continued before I had much time to think about it. The idea that there's someone out there meant for you. It's comforting, isn't it? I will say this, because you're awing. It's very cute at the moment. Okay. But this is not the happiest ending. Aww. We already got the happiest ending. This one... Wait, what was the happiest ending? Killing the him? one, no, the one where um we got to live happily ever after with him. Remember? Oh yeah. Because we got him. Okay, so this one's less than ideal. Yeah. Well, no, it's a survival ending. Okay. It's ideal, but um, it's not as ideal as it could be. Okay. It's comforting, isn't it? Someone who'd love you no matter what. I think it's a beautiful fantasy, but fantasies aren't real. You know it doesn't work like that, don't you? People are temporary, just threads passing each other. There's no force in the world that will hold you close to me. Now that I've met you, I know I need you, and I have to hold you close myself. Do you understand? I, uh, I squirmed in the chair. Something was wrong. He took something from the table. Just one last drink, okay? Well, Lawrence, he pressed the cup to my lips and forced the liquid down my throat before I could voice any more protests. The foul taste brought tears to my eyes as I sputtered and coughed. Please, shh, it's okay. I'll take care of you. Wrong, wrong, something's wrong. I can't feel my... No, I can't feel... It's coming back. The dull ache advanced on me like a train. I love it when Daddy runs the train <laughs> on me. It slammed through me as uh, steering agony flared all over my body. Oh, fuck. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't scream. Oh, oh no, don't move. He looks hot as fuck right now. He does. I First like of all, the, I like the rolled up button up. I like it. The tattoos exposed. First of all, I've never been attracted to him. I except like when he him. was asleep like a baby, and right now. He stopped to brush my sweat like uh, sweat slick hair from my face. I'm not done yet. My legs, my arms. Oh no! Shh, calm down, okay? More bitter liquid was poured in my mouth. S stop. It's the next day. I realized dully that my eyes were open again. There you are. He pet me softly. My arms and legs. I couldn't think. I laid in a, da uh, in a haze of drugs and faraway pain. It's alright. It's all okay. He kept petting me. I fixed our problem. Blood. Now nothing can take you from me. My arms and legs. And I'll take care of you. They're gone. Forever. And we survived. Lawrence kept us with him. I mean, if that's what you want... He took my legs away, he took my arms away, but my bussy is still popping. And honestly, I get to live with this beautiful man who now no longer sees me as a threat. To be honest, I'll take it. I'll take it. Because um, I'm insane. a terrible person. Now let me stop this before the computer crashes again, okay? Thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you all Bye. later.